Hey guys, Techie here from Techie Farm Boy, and today I'll be cooking some delicious strawberry kuchen. It's basically like a pie, but it has fruit in between, so it's kind of like a cake? I, I'm not sure. Anyways, I don't have enough subscribers to do that whole, this percentage of subscribers aren't subscribed or whatever thing. So maybe if you could subscribe, that'd really help me out. I mean a lot. Like always, timestamps will be down in the description below. Originally, the Kuchen was from Germany, and when translated means cake. It first came to Chile in the 1850s when German immigrants settled in southern Chile. Since then, it has become a widespread staple of Chilean dessert and can be found almost anywhere you go in Chile. Sorry for those of you who are waiting for any sort of wild religious backstory, but there wasn't really anything I could find. Alrighty, ingredients time. For the crust, you'll need one half of a cup of sugar, seven tablespoons of butter, a singular egg, two-thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour, one-fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of baking powder. For the filling, you'll need three cups of milk, three-fourths of a cup and two tablespoons of sugar, three eggs and two egg yolks, one half of a cup and one tablespoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and eight ounces of your choice of fruit, mine being stemmed and sliced strawberries. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees for me and spray a 9 inch spring form pan with nonstick spray. Get a bowl and mix your crusts, butter, and sugar together until it's crumbly. Add an egg in there and keep mixing. In a different bowl, mix flour, salt, and the baking powder together. Then add that mix into the first bowl and whisk it for about a minute. Use a rubber spatula to finalize the mixation and then transfer that final mixture over into the 9 inch pan from earlier. Wet your hands and start pressing down the crust into the pan firmly, smoothing the butter on top using your rubber spatula. Put the pan in the oven for 15 minutes until the batter is set. While we wait, we'll make the filling. Combine half the milk and half the sugar into a pot and heat, but don't boil. In a different bowl, mix the remaining eggs and egg yolk, milk and sugar, and whisk it real good. Add some vanilla too, and don't forget the cornstarch. After mixing, pass the mix through a sieve to make sure you don't get any lumps if you're having trouble removing those pesky little cornstarch bits. Remove the milk off the stove and mix the other mix into that mix. Keep whisking real good and then put the pot back onto the stove on medium-low heat, making sure to, you guessed it, occasionally stir for 3-5 to five minutes until it has the consistency of Greek yogurt. Once you're done, wait until the crust is out of the oven. Pour half of the filling into the crust and lay the fruit of your choice on top of that filling. Pour the remaining filling in and put the pan back into the oven for 30 more minutes. Once done, put it in your fridge overnight to let it chill for at least 8 hours. There you have it. Chilean Strawberry Kuchen. I hope you enjoyed and uh... If you want to subscribe to the subscribe button, subscribe to the like button, and maybe even subscribe to the comment section, and I'll subscribe to you later.